Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Welcome to Health and Wellness. Today we're coming to you from Miami, Florida, home to Super Bowl 44. Now we all know that football players are often the victims of sports-related head injuries, but pro athletes aren't the only ones at risk. The CDC estimates about 300,000 student athletes suffer concussions every year. I spoke with one former high school football player about his frightening experience and the diagnosis that changed his life. Tell me about your first injury, the first hit you took. Um, it was your senior year. There was no real hit that really stuck out in my mind. It was more the next day we had uh, practice and we were just running sprints, which we do after every game. And my, I just had the worst headache I've ever had in my life. And every time I was running, I felt like my brain was like bouncing in my head. And did you ever connect it to that game? Did you ever think that you had had a, an injury to your brain? It crossed my mind. But I was, I was just more looking for ways to talk myself out of it because the only symptom I had was a headache. And I was like, okay, I'm not vomiting, I'm not nauseous. So I remembered everything. I can remember every single play from that last game. Then the next game um, I was playing and I experienced blurred vision. But I figured, again, I was talking myself out of it. I was just saying like, oh, I probably have sweat in my eyes or something like that. So I continued to play. But in my gut, I knew that something was wrong. I, it's just my gut feeling, but I kept playing. And then there was one hit in particular where I got hit and I slammed my head on the ground and I got back up. But, and then right then, I knew something was seriously wrong because from the waist down, it was just rubber. I, couldn't, I could barely feel my legs. So I went back to the huddle um, with my buddies and I told them, like, I definitely have a concussion or something. I definitely have a concussion. So you came off the field, Kevin, and you had a grand mal seizure, um, and you were rushed by ambulance to a medevac helicopter, where in the emergency room they revealed that you had a significant brain hemorrhage, um, and then you subsequently had surgery. What is the next thing you remember doctors telling you? Well, I remember everything when I got to the emergency room, I remember everything. I remember I was really scared because I didn't know what was going on. And I knew that something was seriously wrong or else they wouldn't have medevaced me to the hospital. And all the doctors seemed like they were kind of like frantic and stuff. So I, I, I remember asking a doctor like if I was going to be okay. Then what did they tell you about playing football in the future? Well, when I was about to go in for my uh, first surgery, um, the doctor literally told me that I would never step foot on a football field again. And what was your reaction to that? I cried. I mean, you had been playing football for 10 years at that point. You were a senior and the captain of your team and expecting to play football in college. And in a period of an hour, you were told that that part of your life was gone. Could you imagine what your life was going to be like? I think about it every single day. Like if I did something, if I told someone, I and waited a week to, to, to play again, maybe I could be playing college football, but since I didn't, I can't. Today, how are you health-wise and, and neurologically? Um, I feel very fortunate that I am. I feel perfectly fine. The only thing missing is that I can't play football anymore, but there are other things in the world that are more important than that. What do you say to other teenagers, other athletes about head injuries, what's the most important thing you think people need to know? The most important thing is just not be afraid to tell someone. Like, you're not going to look like a sissy if you tell someone that you have a headache, because that's what I thought. I didn't want to, I'm a senior captain, I'm not going to go up to my coach and be like, oh coach, I have a headache, you know. It's football. You, you play through the pain and that kind of thing. If your head hurts, don't play. That's the main thing.